Uh, I'm a senior at Heritage, and I'm here to give you some advice for um, just just some advice as a senior to a freshman, because freshman year is really it's kind of a hectic time because you're you're going through a lot of things, you know, and as you switch to high school, it gets it can be very serious because I don't know. I know they raise the credits to graduate, so I would definitely not fail any classes and I would just I would really take it seriously because you have no idea because the, the other day it just seems like I was a freshman but now I'm in my fourth year at Heritage and wow it's, it's just there's so much regret you know because it's really hard it can get hard sometimes because you know it's all all standardized and all that and me too me too myself I struggle with that I'm not I'm just that one choir kid. I just I don't know. I struggle a lot, um, but you can do it though. That you just gotta utilize everything you have at school. Uh, they have the fast program, but most definitely just I I would say you have to mature up just a little bit because it is it, it does get very serious and I don't know if you probably your most important years for me were probably my freshman year and my junior year. Those are the years where it's kind of just like, all right now, I, I don't think, I, I don't think you're gonna have anyone to tell you anymore, but you should definitely just straighten up your freshman and, and uh, junior year. Cause junior year is kind of the year where it's like, if you work really hard your junior year, your senior year will be nice and easy. But um, coming from a senior, I just, I don't know. I wish I paid a lot more attention. Um, I would definitely tell you guys to join choir. Join any, uh, any performing arts program because, I don't know, because the, the kids at the school have, that have fun are the kids that are involved and the kids that are in the performing arts program. And I just think that it would be perfect for you guys, you know, just to get involved with that kind of stuff. But, um, I know a lot of you guys, you guys are the future of the school, so I would definitely just quit the drama, get in school, be there in class, because it's really going to come back to bite you. Like, I know a lot of kids that I should be graduating with that aren't graduating this year, just because of s stupid stuff. You know, it's, it's very easy just to, just to say, I'm going to skip class, and then just have it come back and bite you right, right in the butt later on in life. It's, <clears throat> it is stressful sometimes, and you gotta pass everything, you know, there's, but one thing you gotta know is that you need to be there, and you need to take it serious. If you don't take it serious, it's just gonna, you're not gonna graduate on time. And a lot of you guys can do it, and you guys really can, because I, my freshman year, I failed, shoot, okay. I don't know. I failed uh, algebra both semesters. That That's pretty bad. Just because I didn't care. My name's Ricky. I'm a junior here at Heritage. And my advice for the freshman is probably just don't skip. Like, honestly, it ruined my freshman and half my sophomore year. Like, skipping is basically every time you skip, you're just digging yourself deeper because you come back to that class and you're missing work and you're like, it's so much work that you don't want to go again, so you keep skipping and work keeps piling up, and it's just not a good cycle at all. It just like, and you can't, sorry, you can't think to yourself that there, there's credit, credit recovery at the school, State Wolf and everything, but you can't like, there's a waiting list for that, so you can't say, oh, I'll fail this class and then make it up in Date Wolf, because there's a waiting list, and you can get into it, like I got into it and it really helped me. I think it set me straight my sophomore year, but you still can't rely on that. You have to go through your high school years as like, I'm gonna graduate and you need to have the mindset of like, I, I need to graduate because graduating high school is a very important thing nowadays. And when you don't do that, there's not that many jobs that you can get without a high school diploma. and. Even even skipping and isn't a good thing in life, in like work, like you can't just call into work and be like, hey, I don't want to come in today because I don't feel like it, or it's too frustrating. <laughs> you have to pick what you want to do, and you can't just keep like not doing it. And, yeah. 
Hi, my name is Chase. I'm a senior at Heritage. Uh, and I think the most important thing for the freshman, incoming freshman students, uh, you guys, to know would be to uh, have a mindset and stick to that mindset. So when you're in eighth grade and you come into freshman year, I know at least my mindset was, oh, graduation is so far off and I don't have to worry about a lot right now because it's, it's so far out there. But really, uh, it does come up a lot quicker than you'll think, and I know you'll hear that a lot, but I mean, you won't realize it until senior year, you're sitting there and you're like, wow, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm almost done. And personally for me, like right now, I'm applying to colleges, and when you apply to college, all they see is your freshman, sophomore, junior year. So if you start out on a good note, your freshman year, and you have that strong base uh, in your education, then your, the years to come will be easier for you, and it'll look better for colleges, I think, as well, because they see that you made that jump from eighth grade to freshman year, and you'll make that jump from senior year to freshman year in college. So that's just something to keep in mind, is to keep that tunnel vision and that, uh, and that vision. Um, another thing would be to get involved here at Heritage. There's a lot of stuff to do, and it, when you get involved, it just kind of helps out with uh, meeting new people and more resources for you to go get help if you need it, uh, coaches and uh, club advisors and whatnot, and there's so much to do, and so if you find your passion of what you really want to do after high school, there's so many things that kind of accommodate you here at Heritage. Um, so I think the biggest thing would just be to uh, stay focused and uh, find something to do that you're passionate about, and uh, most of all, just have fun while you're in high school, because it'll, it'll pass you by before you know it, and so, yeah, uh, good luck.